My name is Bill Keeley. I'm the carpentry instructor for Dixon Hall. My name is Harris Blentick. I am the director of employment services at Dixon Hall. My name is Devante. I'm a carpenter here working with Bill on a contract here at Dixon Hall. My name is Max Williams and um, I'm a first year apprentice at Dixon Hall. The Dixon Hall Mill Center is part of our broader employment and training initiatives here at Dixon Hall. Uh, it is a combination of uh, a workshop as well as a social enterprise. The the crux of it is really in providing employment and training opportunities for various community groups while creating products that, that satisfy consumer demand. The pre-apprenticeship program is involved that the students would uh, first go through a screening process at an intake and then they would come here for an eight week program to have academic upgrading and uh, learn about carpentry skill sets to, to which they can apply for their first year uh, Apprenticeship. I wanted to get into the trades because I'm a physical learner and I'm good with my hands. I'm very good with tools and I decided that I would pick up a trade. Why I wanted to get into the trades was because I see my brother and my dad do things around the house and I thought it was a good idea for me to do it. Well, as we've been hearing uh, all over the place, there is a, there is a skilled trades shortage in, this, in, in Canada. There's been an increasing focus over the years on the academic side of things and universities creating graduates that are not being connected directly to employment. The construction industry in, in Toronto in particular is uh, through the roof, pun intended, and uh, it's uh, to fulfill that gap there is, a, a, there is an increased need for the skilled trades and that's something that, that we really uh, that we really try to tackle here. If you want to get into the trades, the advice I would give to somebody that wants to do that, basically work hard. I would suggest that you talk to people, work hard. Networking, once again, is key. You have to know people, because even when you lose work, you're going to need to know somebody on site. Make friends, don't make enemies. The challenges that I faced was just picking up a few of the skills, and I think that's for any job. When you start off, you're not going to start off the best. You know, Kobe didn't shoot his first basket in. So I believe that personally, you start from the bottom, now I'm here. It's a learning experience. You learn something new every day, and you never get bored. There's always challenges that you come across, but you know, you learn from it and you bounce back. One of our focuses right now is on developing common amenity furniture for a Daniels project in Hyde Park. Made Right Here program is involving uh, contractors that are building in Toronto and we're utilizing some of the tree products that came off of the development sites to build furnishings and tables, uh, decorative pieces for them that they are repurposing and putting back into uh, the sites that they're building. We've uh, been able to hire some of the graduates from our Mill Centre program We've been able to work with them uh, to uh, create these products. Dixon Hall changed my life in a lot of ways. Without them, I wouldn't be the apprentice I am now. It all started with being a pre-apprentice, coming into the Dixon Hall program, learning from the bottom, joining the union on my own. Now I'm part of Local 27 and I'm a full-bledged apprentice. Dixon Hall changed my life a lot. It gave me opportunities that I couldn't imagine. 